There are many frequently asked questions about this game, but one of the ones I get all the time is, what character should I be? What character should my friends be? What, go what works good together? You know, what's a good team element here? So today, I'm going to go over what I think is a pretty basic kind of team build, uh, a balanced team, if you will. Um, the first of four characters would be Ironbreaker. This would be the build I would recommend running on him. You can change a couple things around, of course, but Rockbreaker, definitely you're going to be using the Axe and Shield. Blood of Grimnir, a little extra power. Bulwark, Gromwell Curse, when you get hit, when you lose that Gromwell Armor. Uh, everybody's knocked back. Miner's Rhythm for recovering stamina. Oi Wazik for taunting a monster. Now you can change this to Booming Taunt if you feel like you just want to eat up that horde. Or you can change it to Drain Verazi Oath if you want to give your allies more power, let them do more damage. But I wouldn't recommend using the Axe and Shield for that, as it does go well with rolling, the Rolling Mountain. But this is what I would use Axe and Shield. I go with the crossbow. It doesn't super matter what you use here. You can use a Grudge Raker, you can use a Drake Gun. Um, if you feel like you're not getting enough for the hordes. Uh, necklace gets health and block cost reduction, absolutely, with bark skin. I like that. Um, I like to have at least 60 block cost reduction um, on my Iron Breaker. Just lets me take some big overheads if I need to. Chaos attack speed on the charm with decanter. Curse resistance, crit chance, shrapnel. That'd be typical for legend. The natural stagger ability of the Axe and Shield allows you to kind of bully a horde around, all while making them take 10% uh, more damage from the stagger ability. This greatly benefits your team by helping them uh, stay alive and do more damage. You don't look so hot in the, uh, the stat comparison at the end of the map, but an Iron Breaker with a shield is an excellent addition to any team, as he can pretty much manhandle just about anybody. The second hero on our dream team is going to be Mercenary. Um, I like the X-Sword for him, Halberd, Tusk or Spear, even the Greatsword will work pretty well for what he's going to be doing, because his sole responsibility is just going to be Horde DPS. He's going to be the one ending the lives of those clan rats, those infantry, the occasional elite, you know, dead on arrival. This is going to be your main source of DPS from a melee perspective. This guy, definitely. Um, I like Power's Chaos and Crit Chance on the X-Sword with Swift Sling. The gun, I use this pretty much just for monsters. It's not, like, all that critical. Um, you can use whatever. Uh, the necklace, health block cost reduction, and bark skin. Bark skin's going to work really nicely with your um, ultimate for this guy that we're going to be using. Um, you definitely want health and block cost reduction as you might need to block occasionally. Health is good because you're going to be generating lots of temp health, so you want to have that that max health. Uh, the charm, powers, chaos, attack, speed, concoction. Uh, the trait doesn't really matter on this. You can use whatever, but powers, chaos, and attack, speed are probably the best bet with the X sword. And then the trinket, curse resistance, crit chance of trapped. I'm going to stop covering this because it's all the same for everybody. Uh, the talents, killing blows give you temp health. Perfect for this guy. He's going to be doing lots of killing. More of the merrier gives you more power, therefore more damage when you're surrounded. You can also go for limb splitter if you want that extra cleave. Uh, Smiter is very good for the X sword. Uh, lets you hit one shot breakpoints. If you want more cleave, you know, just a little bit more cleave. Um, Enhanced Power is fine for that. Reichland Reaper gives you more power for pace strikes. Blade Barrier gives you damage reduction for pace strikes. The ult that I was talking about gives your whole team temp health and 40% damage reduction for 10 seconds. This is one of the most complete classes in the game, in my opinion. And it's going to show. As you can see, Mercenary can absolutely dominate a horde with this weapon. He also has the ability to take care of elites with uh, pretty much one shot uh, with Smiter equipped. Like that. <laughs> He's going to be instrumental in just dealing DPS, helping to keep the team alive. 
as he can pretty much wall up his way through an entire line of enemies. He's also great for one-shotting elites. Adding a little gender diversity to our team, we have Carillion, a handmaiden, as the third member. Um, for this, her weapon, sword and dagger is great. Glaive is wonderful. Spear and shield, awesome. If you're a spear person, I'm not, but that can work well as well. Um, you know, longbow is good for specials. I use hunter, crit chance, power scaven, pretty standard. You don't have to use that, but I would recommend it with her. Um, necklace, health and block cost reduction, obviously, and bark skin, all very well. All very well and good. Her charm, chaos, attack speed, concoction, pretty pretty standard. You can go with decanter here, although for her, honestly, proxy would probably might even be better than concoction because you'd be uh, sharing your pot with your team that way. Um, for the talents, if you're going to go with the sword and dagger, I like uh, damaging multiple enemies. It gives you temp health. Um, because they're very quick, so you're going to be making a lot very quickly. Uh, if you're going to use the Glaive, Killing Blow is probably the way to go. Um, spear and Shield, damaging or killing, you can do either one. Depends how you play. Uh, Focus Spirit is a good talent for her, as she can do more damage if she doesn't get hit, which with an Iron Breaker and a Mercenary by her side, going to be rather helpful. Uh, for dual weapons... Enhanced power is fine. You get a little more cleave and a more range damage that way, which for this, for the purposes of this, would be good. Smiter and mainstay are honestly pretty much the same for dual weapons, at least for charge attacks anyway. Um, if you're going to be doing lots of light attacks, probably mainstay be the way to go. But enhanced power does let you get a little more cleave in, and it helps with range damage. So I would just say stick with that for her. Uh, Wraith Walk, if she needs to kind of duck out real quick, uh, she can literally dodge through enemies. It's quite useful. Um, I like Birch Dance for her. She gets block cost reduction, 30 extra block cost reduction. Uh, if you're a health person, you can go for uh, Heart of Oak. Um, you can also go for Quiver of Plenty if you feel like... Um, if you want the elf to just be like the special killer, that way the Iron Breaker and the Mercenary don't have to worry about specials, then probably go with this one. But if you're going straight up from a melee perspective, Birch Dance or Heart of Oak would be the way to go. And then Gift of Ladriel lets her do her invisible dash, basically. Um, this way, if she needs to pick, if somebody goes down, she can kind of pick them up, or she can duck out and escape if everybody dies and get to the end, you know, stealthily. Handmaiden's biggest benefit to her team is her stamina regen ability. If you guys are good at sticking together, sticking by your handmaiden, you'll have twice as fast stamina regeneration. And on Iron Breaker, you'll have another 40% on top of that. She's also great for kind of uh, getting around enemies, dashing through them, da you know, dodging through them. As you can see, she can do that real well. Helps if you need to flank something real quick, flank a horde. There's a lot of nice things she can do with the sword of the, with the sword and dagger. Shit, you become very uh, deadly. You're able to deal with hordes. You're able to deal with elites. When you're standing next to an ironbreaker and a mercenary. All of you just become a complete killing machine. The best thing about this team so far is that any one of these characters can carry a Grim. Ironbreaker should probably always carry a Grim. Handmaid can totally carry a Grim. Mercenary can totally carry a Grim. 
They're all pretty beefy and can still do some solid fucking damage. And where would we be without a little gender equality? The fourth and final member of this team, the Battle Wizard. I like the Fire Sword for her simply for a survivability uh, kind of thing. You can obviously use something else if you want to melee more, but I like Chaos Attack Speed and Resourceful Combatant on this just so I can get my dash ability back uh, quicker. You can use Swift Slaying if you want, it's not a huge deal. Uh, the Conflagration Staff, definitely the most important part of this build. You're going to want Chaos, Infantry, and Thermal Equalizer just so you can use it more. That's going to be the, the, the coup de grace right there. The Necklace, Health Block Cost Reduction, and Bark Skin, that's going to couple well with uh, the damage reduction she's going to get from setting things on fire. Uh, the Charm gets Armored, Skaven. I used Decanter. You can use Proxy if you wish. Not a big deal. I wouldn't probably would not go with Concoction for her. It's not super necessary. Um, but the thing with this, when you have the staff out, you're going to be doing uh, plus 10 to Chaos, plus 10 to Infantry, plus 10 to Armored, and plus 10 to Skaven. So if you get a Chaos Warrior, or not a Chaos Warrior, if, you're, if, you, get, if you get a Chaos Warrior, it's plus 20 to that thing. If you get a uh, Black Rat, it's plus 20 to that. If you get regular Chaos or Skaven Infantry, plus 20 to that as well. So you're doing quite a bit of damage through the Lingering Flames. And then for the Trinket here, I actually go for Revive Speed and Curse Resistance along with Shrapnel. And the reason I do this is because she has her dash over here. Burnout allows for tremendous mobility. So if someone goes down, she can be on it like white on rice and completely just pick them up instantly. Uh, as far as the talents go, I go for Confound with the Fire Sword. Let you just generate a bunch of temp health, get your ability back uh, a little bit faster. It's nice for survivability. Uh, Lingering Flames is going to be the key talent for this one. This is going to allow her to kind of clean up whatever enemies are left. Um, you know, enhance power, a little bit extra damage on that fire uh, burning damage that she's going to be doing. But yeah, the way I envision this squad is Battle Wizard's going to be behind the line that is Ironbreaker, Mercenary, and maybe Handmaiden kind of switching back and forth um, when needed. Um, Battle Wizard will be able to move around, of course, if she needs to. Um, but this will let her just guard the back, clean up the front if she needs to. Um, super helpful there. Unusually calm, just let, your, let you vent sooner by not casting, and you take no damage from that, by the way. Such shield is your little damage reduction talent the conf with the staff. Um, you're going to get the 30 all the time because you're just going to be eating up hordes. Burnout, the dash I mentioned. Uh, you'll be able to dash twice uh, with within 10 seconds, and then the cooldown will start. As you can see, the Conflagration Staff allows you to eat up large amounts of area and kill damn near everything. Where are you at? Nothing survives. Nothing at all. It's great for softening up hordes. It's great for kind of cleaning up areas. And if you get surrounded, I mean, look how far you can go in such a short amount of time. And you just hop all the way back. Stay near your handmaiden. Lingering flames on the battle wizard. Beautiful.